Hello Value Viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. You guys have challenged us to look at solutions for affordably taking down incoming drones. So that's what we're doing today. Now we've done this very much with air-to-air -air weapons, with guns, with missiles like Sidewinders, with missiles like AMRAMs and Sparrows and stuff like that. And it's all very easy and doable, but it doesn't answer the question of doing it affordably and sustainably. Doing it with guns is very dangerous. You can easily ingest the remains of that slow moving target. Doing it with missiles is easy. AIM-9X is very easy, AMRAM is very easy, but they're expensive. You're gonna pay a million and a half dollars for a modern AMRAM. You're gonna pay over half a million dollars for a modern Sidewinder. It's not sustainable economically. It will bankrupt America if you have to fire 300 of those every time Iran launches a salvo of Shahids, which are $20,000 each, right? We have very much found a decent way of doing this. I'll show on the screen now. We've done two of these videos using APKWS and APKWS2. That's Advanced Precision Kill Weapon 1 and 2. 2 is IR, 1 is laser guided. All they are is Hydra rockets, 70 mil rockets, of which America has millions. They cost almost nothing because they're in stock in the tens of thousands. They attach a very affordable seeker head to them. They go and fire and, and they work and that's great, but we don't want to do that again. We want to see what else we can use that's cheap. We've got three types of weapons and several sub variants that we're going to try. We've got laser guided bombs. They are just kits that attach to standard bombs being stored in the hundreds of thousands probably. They cost almost nothing. They're very old so their real time value is basically nothing. INS GPS guided bombs will not work because they won't hit moving targets. They've got to be laser guided. We're going to try Mavericks, AGM-65. Now, when they were built, they were expensive, but they were built in the 1970s and 1980s. That old weapon, they're valueless now, pretty much. They're, they're not really being used in modern combat. So we can try using them. They come in an IR-seeking variant. They come in an optical variant. They come in a laser-guided variant. Let's go and try those. Also, Hellfires. Some of the older Hellfires that the Apaches fire are pretty old, going to have a relatively low, you know, real-time cost. Let's try them. We're going to start with Hellfire. We've got, uh, who've we got? Airborne. We've got, let's have a look. Poosh. When you're ready, can you please let off a radar guided Hellfire? Let's see if we can get that working. Here's what we've got is a whole bunch of drones moving along a big conveyor belt at relatively low altitude, at about 100 knots or so. Poosh rifle. And this is literally designed to do this. That's beautiful, Poosh. What a great start. Oh, he didn't die. Well, that's. Bad damage modelling, I suppose. Obviously, it would have blown it to pieces, so we can count that as a kill. Well done, Poosh. Um, you can keep using your one dark with the laser guided. I think they were even cheaper. In fact, they are much cheaper, the laser guided uh, Hellfire. So you go for that. Again, they were expensive when they were first released, but old ones are going to be well, not valueless, but you know, relatively low cost. The rest of us, we're going to go out with Mavericks, guys. I've got some IRs. Someone take out some optical guided Mavericks. Someone take out some laser guided Mavericks, please. I'm gonna have a go with my IRs first, so please wait for me to fire my IRs before anyone else fires some. And we're gonna work through them bit by bit. And um, what I want to do is turn them on. Uh, get that done there. Right, I'm warming mine up, guys. I'm gonna get my teapot up in case I need to slave from my teapot. So let's get the teapot on. Whoops, that's gonna be the wrong button. Let's try again. Turn the camera on, go to jelly. Standard issue. Boot, you're uh, welcome to ripple off more hellfires. If you do, let me know when you find them. Push rifle. RF. It's going to drop right down on his head. Note how it comes in on a swerve. That's just how the, the Doppler effect on the radar works on the RF variant. And good kill. Yeah, he definitely broke apart that time, Push. First time I was too close, the warhead didn't move arm. Is something. that what happened? Right. I think so. Uh, it was only like a half mile behind us. Duly noted, Pushington. My IR guided Maverick is ready, the F variant. Uh, okay, so let's remember how to use it. We need to assign our soy to that screen check. Uh, we will uncage it. Let's go find a baddie. I'm not going to bother using my teapot. It's so easy to see these things. Without teapot. All right. Um, Rifle. Is that a laser guided variant, Dark? Yep. Nice. Go on, get the kill, get the kill, get the kill, get the kill, get the kill. Go on, dog, go on, dog. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, you got it! Right, that's two types of hellfire we've done it with now. Super happy with that, guys. Right, I've got to concentrate myself just for a second. Barrel roll. Barrel roll, do a wheelie burn. Rifle head on. Roger, I can't look at the moment, but uh, keep me appraised. 
right, I've got my Maverick locked, viewers. You can see the gates are closed, it's got the target, it's got the search, it's like one of those UFO tic tac things that uh, I'm a tic tac. I'm just going to get a little bit closer before I fire because I'm going to give it the best chance it possibly can. I think that's perfect for firing. And it's not firing. Ah! This game. Fire. Did you ever get to fire our Mavericks? Yep, mine just uh, went off and didn't track. Damn! All right, obviously I knew what was gonna happen there, viewers. We've been doing this for many hours. Um, I fired my IR. You can start firing your other variants of Mavericks. Uh, let me know when. Cannonball rifle. Type. Visual. Optical, roger. And same thing as me. It goes on the ballistic path like a rocket and does not track. Rifle. No, I'm not tracking at all. They don't even steer. They don't even steer, that's right. Okay, uh, like I said, we've been trying this for a long time. What we found, viewers, is that IR and optical, they'll track, but as soon as they've fired and they realize that the target is moving, they will turn their sensors off and they will go down like a rocket. Does the real missile do that? No idea. Maybe it, maybe it will, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna try and get a laser guided variant as well. Uh, whoever's got that, please, when you can. I've got the laser guided variant. I'm gonna try my IR. Crap rifle. What you should see is it just goes forwards like a rocket and there's no attempt to... Did you lock a target, Grump? Sure did. Yep, it doesn't see it. Nice. And, yeah, no track. All right, we need a laser guided variant. Um, Violet, uh, what is your progress? Target locked, ready to fire. Right, so you've got... Rifle. That is a, uh, a Lima model, so that is a laser guide. Ah, now this one is guiding. We force it to guide by making it laser guided. We've overridden its stupid sensors. And we're saying, go for that laser. Uh, you can see it's bang, bang type uh, movements there. Not the best type of guidance. It's old, it's 1960s, 70s, but it's done a good chance. Go on, Violet. Go on, Violet. Go on, Violet. Go on, Violet. Yeah, <laughs> right up its friggin' tailpipe. Brilliant, guys. So we've got a radar hellfire to hit, we've got a laser hellfire to hit, we've got a laser maverick to hit, and I can tell you now the IR and the optical maverick will not hit. Yes, they used to in game, but they've changed them, obviously. They don't do it anymore. Guys, we're on to bombs. Right, so um, we need flare on, check, velocity vector slave. Let's try and remember how to use this. We need that switch on, we need that switch on, check, check, check. Uh, let me check up my position. My position is absolutely terrible and way out in front. I'm coming back after burner off. Master Caution, what is that? Ah, get rid of that and put some tape over it. Right, where are those damn drones? So, Maverick off, goodbye. Laser guided bomb on, electronic fuse, instant. Obviously don't want to delay. Mode, automatic, CCRP, blah, 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 blah. Laser code set, set, soy, sensor of interest to uh, our clear, which is now done. Right, okay, so. Bandit spotted. Now uh, the rest of you, please get in planes with bombs. Uh, I'm going to need you to help me do some of this bombing, assuming I, I don't get it first time. I'm moving into position now on these drones. Just come up behind them. I'll probably use my helmet mounted display, but I probably don't need it to be honest. So I'm going to come down on the power, on the speed. Tuck in behind this dude here. Put my velocity vector on him. Let's see if I can see him. Keep a wide field of view. Let's see if we can get this working. So, where are you, sir? You are right there. Get like that. Move into position like that. Get like that. There. Failed. Try again. Failed. Try again. Got him. Got my launch parameters. 15 seconds to launch. 12 seconds to launch. Check, check, check. Everything's good. Five seconds to launch. I'm right up behind him. Three seconds to launch. Speed up, give the bomb a bit of kinematic advantage. Uh, bomb's dropped. Bomb dropped. I'm off the power. Air break out. You the bomb. Is it guiding? Oh, I haven't fired my laser yet, so no, obviously. Uh, yes, it should be guiding. And it's guiding, and in it comes. In it comes. Try to overshoot the target. Fly the plane as well. And 
Ta-da! Damn. Missed. Why? Ah, it's a good question, viewers. Um, the bomb tracks, you know, it's just following a laser. It's been forced to do it, but the bomb is not designed to hit fast moving vehicles. It's designed to hit, you know, a car going at 60 miles an hour at tops. So it, it's not like a sidewinder. It doesn't put lead on to get ahead of the target. It just keeps bang banging towards the target. If it doesn't put lead on, at some point, it's not going to have enough turning power to turn onto the target, which is what happens when it gets 50 feet away. So it's a problem with avionics of the equipment now. So what we need to do is find a way of positioning ourselves and our plane to help it over that, which is probably not going to happen. But guys, start bombing. See if you can find a way. See if you can hit one. Right, another rear aspect shot, make sure you keep him in lays, please. So what he did is he went really fast there to get it as far the bomb as fast as possible, but it probably won't help. Like I said, it's not the kinematics of the bomb's the problem, it's the guidance of the bomb. There's no lead. You see, it's always going towards that point. And if you do that, eventually it will run out. And exactly there, it ran out. It can't turn enough to do that last minute. It's just cannonball pickle. Yeah, 600 knot, plenty of kinematics. Slow down now to make sure you don't overshoot your laser. It's a good aspect, but he doesn't have to turn much, but it's unlikely. He's still going to have the same problem. Yeah, same thing. Ah, oh, laser lost. Mm, you, it was still guiding at the last second. It wasn't that. It was the kinematic. It was the avionic problem again. I mean, that was a 600 knot. We're getting, not getting much faster than that. So kinematically, we've given it all the chance we need. We're going to need to get a frontal attack at some point on, guys. But the frontal I've attack... I've got a frontal. The frontal attack will cause his own problems, as Violet's about to find out. At this point, you probably realise this is a scripted uh, video views. It is. We've been trying this for hours. We know exactly what's going to happen with each uh, with each attack. Uh, it's just presenting it to you and explaining the reason behind okay, it. Wait. Grump, that's a rear attack. It's good, it's solid, it's plenty of kinematics. 500 knots. Don't go too fast now, Grump. Go down to 300 knots. Because you'll get to the limit of your laser. Grump's uh, resorted to the point of just chucking unguided bombs at them. <laughs> oh, you know, it helps if I turn my laser on. <laughs> twat. What a twat. Jesus Christ, Grump. Right, progress violet. F 18 things. Also, Violet, are you sure you're not got enough bombs on there? Gives me a chance for plenty of tries. I like Dark's attempt. He's trying to bomb from below. Dark, that doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. He's doing oh. what? <laughs> it's just dark. Throw the bomb up. <laughs> He's trying to toss. <laughs> trying to toss. <laughs> ah, you're funny. You're all funny. I swear we're professionals, guys. Yes. Yes, we're professionals. Since when? 100%. I swear. I swear, I swear we are. are. Target locked. Put the thing on the thing and shoot it. Pickle. All right, Ooh, Violet. Thing on the thing. Is that a frontal attack? Right, this is the problem with the frontal attack, viewers. Watch this. Everyone was fine. Everything was fine. Everything was fine. Everything was fine. Now, ah, oh, it started tracking and it failed to track. Why did it do that? It did it because the problem is now it's the avionics in the, in the plane that's the problem. The bomb was fine there, but when the avionics release the bomb, Violet doesn't get to control when the bomb is released. The avionics... Rump, hey, wait. The CCRP release. Yeah, Laser's on this time. But that release point chosen by the um, computer on a plane doesn't account for the thing moving at 100 knots towards it. So at that point, it's releasing the bomb too late for the thing to be able to track. So from the rear, you've got a problem with the avionics on the bomb. From the front, you've got a problem with the avionics on the plane and the side is no, not really much better. So we've hit the limit of technology of the bombs that we've got is your problem. But you can idea. drop them in the 16 whenever you want. It's no, just I know you can with all of them, but it's, it. It, 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 you, it's a guess. It's just a guess at that point. It's, 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 you couldn't yep. do that reliably. No one could do that reliably. So we've literally hit a limit in our tech, and I don't know. Has anyone got any other smart ideas? I don't have anything left. Um, I have yeah. CCIP. All oh, right, so that's the other thing. A dive in a CCIP for Violet. I mean, try it, but it's just, you know, it's a lottery at that point. It might just land on someone's house. Take off. Well, I was going to say we could just use... Yeah, it's even worse. Half, half a million dollar sidewinders. <laughs> half a million dollars? $650,000 <laughs> sidewinders? Why not? Yeah. Right back to where we started the original problem. That was a perfect America. Goal. That was perfect head on and it guided. Ow. And he killed himself. It was perfect head on and it guided. 
uh, but it, you then reach similar problem from behind. There's only so much a bomb can turn. It can barely turn like one degree per second or whatever it is. It can barely turn at all on those bombs. And you're asking it to do too much. So it's an impossibility, guys. Great for trying, but we've tried every type of way of doing this. APKWS does work, but it's not easy. APKWS is not like a sidewinder just because it has a thermal tracker. But again, the same problem. It can't maneuver very well. You have to put it perfectly on a ballistic trajectory for it to be able to track properly. So that requires lots of pilot training, unlike uh, a Nameline X. So that's something that real pilots are training for at the moment in F-15s and F-18s and F-16s uh, to try and get that skill set to put APKWS on a moving target. It's a problem. There is no proper solution for this yet. A weapon has to be developed that can turn like a sidewinder and be as cheap as a rocket. 50 grand, and no one's invented that yet uh, or into service. Guys, I've got nothing to add. I don't think we've got anything to add to this conversation, but I think it was really good that we tried it, so well done for suggesting it. Any um, comments from you? I was watching a documentary on YouTube about them shooting drone, down drones over uh, that were coming at Israel, and I think they said that three F-15s did try laser-guided bombs, and they all missed on the first day, and then they weren't allowed to do it anymore. Yeah, that's actually what this was modeled on. Um, it was the guy who suggested it, quoted exactly that report. Um, obviously one did hit a helicopter if you remember in uh, 1991 was it guys uh, and I'll put a link to the video description if you want but that's a bit naughty to say that it didn't actually hit the helicopter it missed the helicopter and hit the ground below and the up blast killed the helicopter but yeah no one's hit a drone with a bomb and it's impossible pretty much for the reasons we said guys I hope you enjoyed that and bye bye